Hey, I can't wait to show you what I'm creating in today's video. I'm Summer with HammondsNest.com and I'm so glad you're here to hang out with me and see it all come together. First, I have a set of chopsticks. You know, I could use some wooden dowels for that, but this is just some stuff I had in my stash that I'm making use of and I have a couple wooden spools there. I'm painting them in the sheepskin color by Folk Art Chalk Home Decor Paint. And just to give you some measurements, the chopsticks are 10 inches long each. I will not be cutting those, I will be using those as is. So if you like the project idea, you would wanna know that. And then the wooden spools come in a package of four from the wood pile section at Hobby Lobby. They measure two and one eighths inch tall by one and a half inches wide. And so there you go, you got your measurements in case you need to know that. And then I'm using this Tim Holtz Walnut Stain Distressing Ink Pad. These pads are super handy for stuff like this and I'm just distressing along the edges of the spool and the skewer so we're gonna set those to the side and come back because we'll need it in just a minute but let's pull out this candy corn garland I got from the Dollar Tree plus section and you may want to check the comments of wherever you're watching this or visit hammondsnest.com my blog to find the other project I made with the triangles left over from this garland because you actually get 11 pieces in it. So I'll just mention that so there is another cute project out there that you'll wanna see. So you could see that I glued two of the triangles together with hot glue. Now I'm gonna stuff them with some polyfill. I'm just using repurposed from an old pillow. I've gotten to where I really like to do that instead of buying brand new because, you know, who doesn't go through some pillows every now and again? But I'm getting those stuffed and I'm using that little paintbrush to kind of push it up into the corner. Now we're gonna pull back out our spools and our chopsticks. And I'm using a tiny piece of fabric and a little bit of hot glue pushed down to the bottom. Where you saw me push that piece of fabric was the bottom. That's so that my skewer doesn't fall out. And I'm gonna put some more glue in there, but that was just something I came up with to kind of help it from going all the way through the hole. Then I took a sander, as you saw, and kind of roughed up and tattered the edges of the candy corn. Now it's time to move on and embellish these cute little candy corns. I've got some greenery from Hobby Lobby that I'm gonna glue in place on them. And if you haven't figured it out yet, buy the supplies that I showed you we are indeed making little candy corn trees. And so we will be attaching the spool, the chopsticks, and the candy corn pieces to make the cutest little trees. The canvas ribbon that you see me using here was repurposed from some packaging on a throw. I love to save that stuff when it looks nice because I can certainly see myself using it. And in this case, I pulled it out of my ribbon stash and it was perfect for this project. So I'm really glad I saved it. I did end up putting some short pieces glued on top of the greenery of it. And then I cut some longer pieces and just did a little knot bow with some tails hanging down because you can see here, I wanna stamp some cute words. I'm gonna stamp candy corn and then sweet treat on the other one. I'm using a stays on black ink pad for this. And I'm also using a little rubber stamp set from Dollar General, y'all. Five dollars for this set, and I have found it pretty handy. I've used it on several projects. I love the size of the font and the type of font, and I think it goes really well with my style, and so maybe it goes with yours too. So if you're on the hunt for a little set to add that won't break the bank, definitely go check out the craft section at Dollar General. Once I get my tails stamped the way I want, I'm gonna secure those back over that little piece as you saw there and hot glue that. And I do think the tails look great just hanging down, but just to make sure that you can always see the words and they don't get flipped around, I did place a few daubs of hot glue in certain places and made the ribbon tails kind of have that movement like I wanted them to. Okay, it's time to assemble all of the things that we have prepared. Our little candy corn trees are coming to life now. After gluing the chopstick in the spool, I pushed it up into the candy corn. For one of them, I pushed it nearly all the way up. And for the other one, I didn't push it all the way up so that I would get varying heights of my tree so they would make a little set. And this happens sometimes whenever I'm filming, but maybe my camera isn't recording and I think it is, but you can see there on the spool, I took some ripped fabric pieces, the black striped, and I hot glued it around the spool. I thought it added a cute little touch. I really do think it pulled it all together and just dressed it up, leveled it up a good bit. And then some Spanish moss on top of the spool and a couple little spots of Spanish moss around the bow and the greenery. And we have ourselves a precious set of candy corn trees. I absolutely love the way these came out. I hope you do too. Remember to go check my blog at hammondsnest.com or check the comments for a link to the other project I used with the pieces of the garland. Have a great day. Bye-bye.